Hey yo people from the internet, this is Eurodev and finally after literally two months here we are again for a new video for Shiro Side Quest development. I don't want to bore you huh? too much on anything so I'd say you can leave a like, subscribe and we can start right now. Last time I made an update to my game was when I made the new fancy custom main menu but since then a lot has happened. For instance, I wanted to upgrade the way the player moved across a level, so let's start with that. I pretty much took inspiration by mixing the Toao gameplay to the Terraria flight movement. So to make the game slightly harder, I added some gravity to the player so he has to keep itself up with precise clicks in order to avoid danger. To help doing that, when we focus movement, the gravity decreases, so the player can stay a bit more easily in place and concentrate avoiding and attacking. After that I decided to remake the Shiro sprite and also add some fiery wings since she can control fire so that's something she should be able to do. I also added a camera to the player because I wanted to make the game switch from a defined area during the first part of the levels to a bigger area during the boss fights. Moving ahead to the boss's AI, I reworked some stuff and made a proper state machine, first time doing one this complex if we wanna call it that, so it took quite some time. I kept the custom spiral attack connected to the two states in the AI and made two new attacks to test some things out. So the first one makes the enemy rotate around the player and then dash against it, the other attack makes the boss move on top of the player and then selects a random place in the area around the player to spawn a safe zone and if the player goes into that safe zone it avoids the damage. Next and last thing for this video, I had some fun as you can see adding some sprites I made a big background shader that I will use somehow. And I also copied from last project the normal enemy spawning scenes and connected them to spawn the boss after they're gone and to free the camera. So, this was pretty much a summary of the past two months. I'll try to be quicker next time. For those who stayed up to here, thanks a lot. If you want, you can subscribe and leave a like to keep watching this and more content. So for now, that's all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!